Pope Francis begging indigenous Canadians for forgiveness today. The pontiff traveled to Edmonton, Alberta, to apologize for the abuse they faced at the hands of the Roman Catholic Church. For more than 100 years, the Canadian government forced hundreds of thousands of indigenous children to leave their own homes and attend residential schools. The Catholic Church ran a majority of those schools. The goal, assimilate the kids, but often by force. The church now accused of sexually and physically abusing thousands of kids. Since last May, Canadian authorities and indigenous groups say they've found more than a thousand unmarked graves on the grounds of three former schools. Most of those graves held children. Now the Pope is stepping in to take responsibility. Here's NBC's Ann Thompson. On the Canadian prairie, powerful words from Pope Francis. I am sorry. I ask forgiveness. Francis applauded as he spoke near a former residential school where Indigenous children were abused by Catholic priests and nuns. Forced by the government to attend, the children stripped of their cultures and identities, policies the Pope called catastrophic. What's it like to be back here? The memories. There's... <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of little spirits. Josephine Smalls went to the Ermanskin School the Pope visited. The gymnasium is all that remains. And there was a lot of abuse. Smalls was physically and sexually abused at the school. Kara Curry Hall and Deborah Parker are daughters of abuse victims. The Pope praying today at the graves of some 6,000 children who died. Our people have called for the releasing of the records and also the repatriation of those babies. Bring them home. Ancestors um, to be like remembered, my, even my in our interview. Was, uh, Why is that chair here? For the ones that can't be here. For the ones that suffered the most, that still to this day cannot even talk about it. Francis initially apologized at the Vatican in April. Father Susai Jesu was there. What difference does it make that it happens in Canada? People are going to be opening their heart for reconciliation and healing because he's going to be speaking on the soil of this land. Francis welcomed with a headdress today, but not everyone is ready to forgive. Say I'm sorry, but show you're sorry. For the news, I'm Ann Thompson.